So let's recall the definition of a radian and develop the arc length formula. So remember that a radian is the angle that is defined when the arc length is equal to the radius. So we have our central angle theta is equal to the arc length over r. If we apply this now to a sector, which is just a piece of a circle, we have the three characteristics, arc length, very central angle, and radius. We can also take a look at a larger sector, has the same characteristics, radius, central angle, and arc length. So what we have now is a formula that we can use to calculate the arc length, S, and it's just given by the radius times the central angle theta, but remember the theta is in radians. And we can use our little triangle method for this three variable equation so that we can rearrange it so that we could also have, if we want to calculate radius, radius is S over theta, or if we want to calculate theta, theta is S over R. And remember for all three versions, theta is in radians. We can also take a look at this formula. Instead of having theta in radians, what if we had theta in degrees? And if we do that, the formula winds up becoming 2 pi r times theta in degrees over 360. Here's a little development of that equation. So there's our original one from our definition of radians. Now if we want theta in degrees, we're going to have to convert the degrees to radians for the relationship to maintain valid. So when we do that, our arc length stays the same, our radius stays the same, and now here we can see how we've taken our theta in degrees, and using this unit ratio, we've converted it to radians. And of course, when we rearrange that, we get the formula that I had in the box here. We can also take a look at sectors and develop the area of the sector formula, and this is going to be from geometry, where the area of a sector is going to be proportional to its central angle. So if we start off with developing the formula for angle and degree, we have that the area of a sector over its central angle is the same as the area of a circle over its central angle, which of course in a circle is 360 degrees. Putting it in symbol form and putting in the formula for area of a circle pi r squared, multiplying each side by the central angle of the sector, and then now we have the area of the sector is theta in degrees over 360 times pi r squared. We can do the same development if we want our angle measured in radians, so the same ratio. This time around, notice though that when we have the area of a circle, the central angle of the circle measured in radians is of course 2 pi rads. Following the same methodology in symbol form with our equation of the circle, canceling out we're multiplying each side by the central angle of the sector measured in rads. And we get the area of the sector is 1 half r squared theta. And again, theta is in radians. So now we have two formulas where we can calculate the area of a sector. We can calculate A given theta and r, or we can calculate r given theta and a, or we can also calculate theta given a and r. So in the three variable equations, we can solve for any of the three. We can now apply this area of a sector formula, or area of circles, to full or partial rings. Let's start with full rings. So here I'd want the area of this dark blue ring. And what I can do is take the bigger circle and subtract the smaller circle. And we can see how that will leave us with just the area of that ring. Conceptually, the formula is the ring area is the outer circle area minus the inner air circle area. Putting in our formula for area of a circle, pi r squared, but remember we have an r outer and an r inner. And if you want to use different symbols, you could use capital R for the radius of the larger circle and little r for the radius of the smaller circle. We can also apply this concept to partial ring. So let's take a look here. Here's our partial ring. We want to get the area of just that dark blue little band. Take the larger sector subtract the smaller sector, and we get the area of the partial ring or the sector ring. Conceptually, just as before, the area of the sector ring is the area of the outer sector minus the area of the inner. And I can 
plug in my formula for area of sector formula, and I'm using the one half r squared theta formula where theta is in rads. And again, here's our larger radius for the outer sector and our smaller radius for the inner sector. So now we've developed the arc length formulas, the area of sector formulas, and also looked at areas of full and partial length.